Hey and welcome into this new video where I'm gonna be sharing with you uh, one of the super cool chess puzzles. It is white to move and white needs to win. First of all, I gotta say that this puzzle is really, really difficult. I'm not even sure if Carlson would be able to solve it. Uh, if you ever meet him, ask him <laughs> to, to try it out. It is white to move and let's first of all take a look at the situation, generally speaking. We can see that the white skin here on the h6 is, is vulnerable, but the black skin is somewhat exposed as well. Black has the rook against the knight, therefore he has uh, some material advantage here. But of course, in a crazy position like that, it's not the, the most decisive factor. And of course, because so many pieces are hanging, uh, the kings are in danger, you know that you gotta do something uh, really forcing in order to stay in the game. And the first move here is more or less simple. It is rook to h8 because you can check the king as well as attack the black's queen. King e7 is forced. And right here already there are a few options that white can consider. So here it already becomes not that simple. First of all, what if white just goes ahead and captures the queen? It is actually a mistake, because after that, if black recaptures with the knight, which is the right thing to do, because not only it recaptures the rook, but also it protects the pawn on c6 so that the white's knight cannot capture it with, with a check. And now all of a sudden it turns out that the white's knights are still hanging. On the next move, black would collect one of them, and he would have two rooks versus the queen, which is about equal balance. And so that does not help white to win. Let's take a move back. Let's see what else can white do instead of rook takes d8. Another move which makes sense for sure is knight takes c6, which is double attack to the black's king and queen. And it may seem like, okay, white's just winning, that is it. But still, it's not that simple, because black goes king to f6, and now if, black cap if white captures the queen, black stays cool, replies rook takes d1, and it turns out that actually he's winning. Because uh, now, not only the rook attacks the queen, but also if the queen goes away, the rook is ready to deliver the checkmate on h1. The white's knight on d8 is still hanging as well. Therefore, black is actually winning here. Therefore, let's take a move back once again and see what else should white play, since capturing the knight actually loses the game for white. And the winning move here, which exists here, but this is the move which, you know, is inhumanly possible to find here. This is a rook to g8. And yes, it looks like something totally crazy is going on here. White is not capturing the queen, even though he could have taken it either with a rook or with the knight. Uh, but he doesn't do that, and instead he plays this mysterious move, rook takes g8, which seemingly makes no sense at all, and black can now capture almost any of the white's piece. And yet this crazy move wins the game. Alright, let's figure out what's going on. First of all, what is the point of that mysterious move, rook to g8? What if black just does something, let's say captures the knight? In this case, we realize that the move rook g8 actually made sense, and it pursued certain idea, which I would ask you to think about and to find, because in this case, it is a doable puzzle, okay? You need to find the winning for white right here, so please think about this and write it down in the comments below. Alright, I hope that you can find the winning shot for white right here, and therefore let's take one move back and see what else should black do. Of course, instead of capturing the white's knight, it looks a lot more natural for black to just go ahead and grab that rook on g8, right? Because, you know, white just played this strange move, giving out the rook, why not to take it? And at this point, white finishes the game in style, starting with queen to f5, sacrificing one more piece. And after black takes the queen, which is forced, white goes knight to e7, sacrificing yet another piece. And now after rook takes e7, it looks like you know, white is down actually, he's only got, you know, two pawns and a knight. And at this point, knight gets really angry and decides to, you know, start crushing it. So the knight goes knight to e3, and after king of six, which is forced, the white's knight becomes a real beast and starts collecting the harvest. So it takes on d5 firstly, then it takes the rook, king of six is forced. Now knight takes g8, white virtually... Uh, kept the material ba balance back by collecting all the blacks heavy pieces. But now there is still a question, okay, like, what should white do now? 
because okay the material is about equal but black still has this extra pawn which is ready to go forward and be promoted but it's not that simple because white goes back firstly with a couple more checks and after that he finishes the game with pawn of g4 checkmate have you ever seen anything like that let me know in the comments below also let me invite you to join the course calculate till mate we have just opened up enrollment for this course where you can learn the art of calculation as well as to master different, different tactical m m motifs so that not only you can find them while solving tactical drills but you can actually execute them in your own practical games as well and of course the course comes together with practice where you practice everything that we learn as well as you get access to me and to the close community of our students and i'll be happy to handhold you and to support you all the way through Therefore, if you're interested, you can click the link on the screen or down below the video and join us because the enrollment will only be available for several more days and you can get access together with all the discounts and bonuses if you join us right now. I hope that you also enjoyed this puzzle that I shared with you. Feel free to share it with your chess playing friends and ask them if they could solve it or at least uh, you'll shake their confidence a little bit so that it will be easier for you to win <laughs> against them later. I wish you the great day and I'll talk to you soon.